They are all jealous of your fufu. She has the most terrible hair in the world. Hi everyone, welcome to a new beginning of a video. You would think I am an expert in uh, clipping horses, <laughs> but I must say I'm not. I really stink, I cannot do that. I, my fingers are too thick, I always uh, tell everybody. So, thank God we have a great team <laughs> who can take care of our horses really good. So, uh, in this video they're going to explain how to groom a horse. So, uh, I hope you like the video, enjoy. Uh, this is Genesis, so today I'm gonna uh, clip him because now yeah, it's getting colder and we're going to the winter so his hair is getting long so yeah for the riding it's easier that they um, are not that long wet after training because then they get a cold and then they drive faster and yeah okay now there are no competitions so um, it's not for the competition, but yeah, then he's nice and no long hair. And it's gonna have a different color, maybe a little bit, but we will see. But he's always pretty at Genesis. And so now we have um, one blanket, and um, after he is clipped, we're gonna put uh, two blankets on. Yeah, because he. Uh, lost his hair so that he don't have cold at night. So the first thing I do is yeah I brush the horse, make him a little bit clean. Uh, the most of the time I wash them the day before that they are really clean and they are no dust in, in the hair and it's clipping easier. So now I'm just going over Genesis. Genesis is yeah the most pretty horse of the stable I think yeah because his color yeah it's no many horses have his color and of course his flu flu <laughs> and Genesis makes him a little bit sexy and Genesis they are all jealous of your flu flu. So normally I start clipping. Um, with the legs because I found it the most difficult part uh, then I do the head and then the, the rest of the body um, most of the time because we don't um, give sedation to clip it takes more time but it's better for the horse and if they um, don't like it anymore we put them in the stable and after half an hour, we take them back and do further. So. Thank you. 
nur auch klein. Das ist ja dann nicht so machen. Eigentlich stehen wir dann nicht. Once we eat first, and then you'll be washed. Happy with the result. He has a totally different color. But yeah, he was nice to clip and such a good horse. Yeah, and not all the horses are so easy like him. He has lots of patience, so we can do it in, in one time. So he is done for today. Now um, I washed him, so I put uh, one blanket on. And when you dry, I put the two blankets on. It's one more than before, but yeah, he's clipped now, so you need it now. Yeah. It is Crystal, so we're gonna make her pretty again. Her hair is a little bit long and fluffy. She looks like a, my little pony. We start with brushing it so we see what it really looks like. I think she likes it. You see, it's all dead ends. We need to cut them off. And we start. That's not funny. Where the bridle is, we always cut it away, so there's gonna be no hair in the way. Now, I'm gonna try to take this away. That looks better. I like the scratch here. back in the stable. She's really pretty now. This one's Fabiola. She has the most terrible hair in the world. I'm trying to, to make a nice haircut, but I don't know if it will work. She has a lot of hair and now I came at 
and it's all on this side. But when I finish and she shakes her head one time, it's going to be all over her neck. You see? She likes everything you do with her. She's the queen of the stable. A bit spoiled. Our water is cold. But she hates the cold water. We don't have warm water yet, so... Yeah. But sometimes you have no choice. The shampoo, we normally wash them if they go uh, to a competition or if they're really dirty or if they have to be clipped because if you clip them and you wash them before you clip them, the hair is better for the machine. Okay, you have two sides, sorry. Cold again. Okay, so after we wash them, we put on a blanket because it's too cold to leave them in the stable without one. And then she can dry. We put some tail spray in it to make the hair soft and then she can go back to the stable and eat. Look, this is the result. Yeah, I love you too. This is karma because there are many questions about how we plat the horses. Yeah, and some people call it braids. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Uh, there are different yeah, ways to do it, but sometimes it has to be yeah, fast done. I think I have uh, a way to do it very quickly. Um, so first I make the uh, manes a little bit wet that we have no loose hair when it's done. When the manes are wet, um, I take this brush and to make all the braids the same. So I take the first part of the manes and then I put the other manes together. And then I make uh, the separate braids and I always try to make uh, an uneven number, most of the time seven, nine or eleven. It depends on the uh, manes of the horse and the thickness of the horse manes. So, and I learned by doing it to be really fast because when we are on competition, sometimes it has to go really fast. And when they are with many horses, you don't have the time to do it yeah, slowly. So I think I can do it in 20 minutes. So that's, I think, not so bad. So I folded the end of the manes, that it's all good together, that there are no sticky hairs.
is looking in the camera like. So the braids are all done. This is special wire to plait the horse. So I take the wire and um, somebody learned me uh, to do it yeah, really fast. It's going faster than just making a nut with the hand. So I roll the um, wire around the needle a few times and then you pull it over the needle, over the wire until the end and then you have your little. Most of the people do it like uh, they uh, fold the braid in two and then they do it again. Um, it's also possible, but my um, way to do it is I put um, my needle through the elastic. So then the knot is fixed in the hair. And then I just roll up the mains. And then I put the needle a few times from the inside to the outside. And you just have to do it um, until you feel that, that the braid is really... I did it in 20 minutes, so now I only have to do the front and then she's done. You are a pretty girl. So when you uh, want to take the braids out, you only have to pull the braid a little bit up and then you see here the wires and you get them and then it's loose. And that's the advance to um, roll up the mains and not do, do it double and double. So then you have to search for the wires and now in five minutes it's all loose. So I hope you like the result. I did my best. I think she looks pretty, so... My baby boy. <laughs> now she's hungry, so I don't get her attention. No, she doesn't care, she's pretty. But I do. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, <laughs> <laughs> Los. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video. I really hope you like it. If you have any questions left for our grooms or us or what is he doing? <laughs> now leave them down in the comments and uh, I see you next video.